Let's see. We're a little bit... Yeah, we, we did it! Let's go. We have a town. Iron Range Republic! Let's go. All right, it says we're live. I don't know if we actually are, though, so we'll, we'll see. Are we? I think we are, boys. Yeah! We did it! Yeah! <laughs> Let's go. We're live. Very cool. I voted for Biden. It. No, you didn't. Nah, I I pro well, I mean, you know, the Iron I Ranger I didn't Republic. physically vote for him, but who knows? Oh, I have to join the town. No, I have to leave the old one. God damn it. Skill issue. Invite me to the town. I gotta I gotta I gotta I gotta make wood planks so I can make a make okay, a crafting well, when table. Hang when on. You get a chance, no rush. Oh shit! There's a fucking creeper over there. I'm gonna go slay this son of a bitch. Come here. Good for you. Come here. I All right, there we go. The I didn't die. The stream is going well because I can't like check it while I'm in the game. Uh, slash invite town. Uh, oh, there's a ah! 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 Do you guys shit! have zombies in the Iron Range? Uh yeah, it's called Rudy Purpage. Ah, oh, true, true. No, it's called what? It's called Walter Mondale. What, that zombie died really fast. Okay. Back to important things like inviting Buckeye to my horrible yeah, town that yeah. I made. No, it's a great town. It's going to be the greatest town you've ever seen. Believe me. All right, chat. Can you guys, like, hear us okay? Does the stream look okay? It's, people... it's, it, says you're, it says you're already part of a town. I... Oh, my mom's calling me. Oh, Hang on. <laughs> Bro, this is so chaotic. I have to leave the town. All right, I have to. No. Jeez. All right, I confirmed. Invite me. When you get a chance, of course. Well, what the what is this kid doing? This skeleton. Holy crap. Bro's at like. Bro, what? What is? Oh, they're shooting each other. Okay. Where'd you go? Bro just dipped. Ow. I'm gonna die. Okay, so I got raped. That's that's cute. That's that's maybe don't say that on stream, but you know it's okay. Uh, well, uh, I don't care. <laughs> I, 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 I kind of like my YouTube channel, though. You know what I'm saying? Uh yeah. I mean, I did get a strike for talking about donkeys, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I I got no. It was on a. It was like an old political podcast I used to do. Where the hell did I get teleported to? I I don't know. I'm hiding in a tree. <laughs> Bro, I'm in the de what, what? I'm in a I'm in a Did desert. Did you die? Where? Uh, I teleported to North America. Bro, I'm in the middle of Washington. Oh, Oregon. Bro, I'm in the middle of Oregon. How are you get? Well, we gotta get beds. And slash the Iron Range Republic has already fallen apart. Like, this is just sad. Alright. I got a TP to you. Bro, why am I in Oregon? Bro, I don't wanna be here. I don't wanna, I don't wanna die. I'm sending you the Discord uh, server for our main, like, thing. Like, the country okay. that we're going to be, the empire we're going to be a part of. Bro, I can't even see anything. Like, bro. I'm just going to go mining and try to find some coal. Iron, iron ore, of course. Oh, yeah, there's got to be... Oh, yeah, some of these servers actually, like... If there's a lot of, like, materials in an area, they actually, like, make it... So hey, I sent nice. a TP request to you, by the way. Oh, you did? Hang on, I'll send it. I gotta send it. TP. TPA. TP ask. Right, well, you're about to... I don't need, I can't even see what I'm doing. I'm, I'm in a cave right now. Oh, right, here, let me put my campfire. Uh, bro, I can't see anything. I've okay. already sent you one. Gosh damn it. Oh, I got it, yeah. Huh? Wait, what did I just do? Wait, what? Uh... Huh? Ow! How am I getting What'd hit? What'd you do? I, I don't know, I can't see. You're getting- there's like someone- there's someone attacking you on the map, it looks like. 
Is there? Yeah, like slim. Oh, slim dude. Yeah, this is our friend. Oh, he saved me. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I don't want to be in Oregon. Time. There's Antifa over there. That's true. I'm gonna. Whose streets I don't know if are gonna streets? Work. Bro. Do some wood. That sounds weird out of context. I, I try it again. Try to TP to me again. It's been. I think it, it goes after. It goes away like after a minute. So you should be good now. Ooh, food. Bro, why do I have so much spruce wood? All right. I sent it again. Oh yeah. Ah! Oh, there we go. All right, let's not get blown up by a creeper and die. True, true. Very smart advice. Words of the wise, as they say. <laughs> What's? That was a zombie. I don't like this. Okay. Well, it's kind of delayed, actually. That's interesting. Is there way to like see chat while I'm? You can't like look at chat. That's kind of sucks because I want to see what people are saying. But oh well. Actually, we'll try this actually. All right. So, like, what are we gonna do? Uh, we're gonna build a. I we're gonna build a. Is. We're gonna build a male genitalia. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, so invite me to the the iron range so I don't die. All right. Town invite. <laughs> me. I typed town. In you can do it. Invite Bengal Cat eight hundred. Thank you. Oh. The, 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 it didn't send. What? He wants you to join the nation. Yeah, join him. Join the nation. We'll talk to this guy. Look at the yeah. He's gonna ask you to join, join the, the nation. nation. Yeah, because we can have a town, but then we can be a part of his like nation. It's like a state, basically. Yeah, if you guys right, are wait, talking in the... chat, I'm sorry, I can't like check it. What's the name of his nation? I don't know. He's gonna invite you. My bunghole. Sort of like add. I'm trying to see if I can put chat in like. Eh, oh well. Did he ah do? damn it, bro. What'd you do? Wait. Okay. Hang on. I this is too complicated. I hate this. <laughs> Why? Minecraft is not supposed to be this complicated, guys. I'm such a boomer when it comes to this. Okay. I'm gonna try to find some iron in the iron range. See how well it goes. This thing is just a better riptide. Invite accept. Bro. Alright, I'm just gonna go down here. Yeah, alright, I'm gonna go. Alright, I'm, all right, I'm gonna build up. I'm gonna build a shack. Okay. That's a bee. Don't get stung. Why the heck did they add bees to Minecraft? Because like, they liked the B movie, obviously. 
That movie. That movie's cursed. Okay, like I don't want to know. I don't want to know what's going on below me. Not mine. There's like a, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of zombie noises. There's probably a cave then. This is gonna be the world's worst house. It's okay. We're completely iced we, off. We all make mistakes, Jace. <laughs> You're one of them. Alrighty. We have a crafting table. Very epic. Let's make some pickaxes. Yo, no way. Impossible. We have a crafting table. I don't believe that. We're making progress, you know? That's all that matters. As we're, long as we're, we're moving we're, forward. We're, we're being progressive. Yeah, true, true. We're making... We're, we gotta make the progress, you know? Oh, cool. Some free wood lying around that I can steal. From the natives. Wowzers. I'm gonna keep mining. Hopefully, we'll find some iron in the. If I get to bedrock and I don't find iron in the iron range, I'm gonna be very disappointed. The sad part is, like, the part of the map we're on should be the Carlton Northwoods, which is like, uh, it's 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 a state park that has a crap ton of iron ore below its surface, but they aren't allowed to mine there. Because it's a state park. So, yeah, and also the DFL like caves to the environmentalists on everything. So. There we go. Oh, that's a lot of wood. Freaking A. I got five hundred dollars. You got a wow. Slim gave it to me, it looks like. Bro. Oh, because that's how we claim stuff. Okay. Makes sense. Alright. Um, boom. And then, holy crap, I have a stack of 64 more oak logs. I don't need this much wood. Pain in the ass. All right, I think we're good. All right, put my tools in here. I don't need. I don't need a dandelion. Wait, no seeds. I could actually use those. Oh. Huh? I could actually use those. Never mind. All right. Back to important things. True. All right, I'm like really deep, and I still have not found iron. Very disappointed. Okay, yeah, this is this is horse shit. This is bullcrap. I'm coming back uh, to the surface. I'll start. Oh! I was hoping to find iron to make a bucket, but I alas. almost said a bad. I I almost said a naughty word, guys. I I almost uh -oh. I almost said. I almost said B A L L S. It's not a naughty word. I'm joking. Oh, you might want to turn PVP off so we don't get like. Oh PvP right, uh, PVP town. <laughs> slash PVP. Wait. Yeah, it's like slash town PVP. It's weird. This is a nice long wooden house. It's very nice. I'm going to make mine out of spruce logs. Bro, I love chat. How to turn off PvP in town in Planet Earth Minecraft. PvP, oh. What? I have to go into the files? Of, what? No, you don't. Oh, wait. PvP. You shouldn't have to. False. I've played servers oh, like this wait. before, and I've never had to do that. Alright, here. I'm going to make my house right next to yours. We can be neighbors. Wow, this really is dude, this really is gonna look like cloquet because there's a ton of these like really old longhouses that have, were built in like 1870. Okay, well I'll make I'll make my house a longhouse. I'll make it realistic. 
Well, to be fair though, most of them got burned down in the 1918 fire, but... That's very sad, actually. I feel bad now. Is there I mean, a lot of they, farming? They got, they, I'm assuming not. They got rebuilt. Um, there used to be, but... I mean, the fire the fire in 1918 kind of stopped it. Mm, sad. Yeah, where I live, it's mostly farms, other than, like, the two cities. Quote, mostly unquote. forest up here. A lot. There's a lot of forest. All right, we have someone in chat. Thoughts on the Russia-Ukraine war? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I kind of stopped paying attention, gonna be honest. Uh, we shouldn't give them. I paid attention for like money. the first week. Yeah, yeah. I was like really, I was like really analyzing it like the first week, like the troop movements and stuff. And then honestly, I kind of just stopped paying attention. I'm not gonna lie, but I, I, I started to, I supported Russia as like a joke. Really? I supported Ukraine originally. Now I'm pretty much just neutral. I don't know. I kind of do support, like, I understand Russia. Like, yeah, if you actually it. look at, like, the, uh, like, you know, geopolitics and from Russia's point of view, it makes sense why they did what they did, but I still don't think it's, you know, the right call. And I, I don't support them, but I well, understand Well, to, to be fair, if Trump did. was in office, I, if Trump was in office, he would have probably done some negotiating with Zelensky. Well, yeah, and because we, they only they invaded because Ukraine was going to join NATO. Did you find any coal? I didn't, I didn't find anything. I got, like, a bunch of gravel. <laughs> so damn it okay yeah so um i'm about to die shoot. of hunger by the um, way so i'm gonna like i have a bunch of steaks guys penguin is in pain i threw a bunch of steaks on the ground by the end of your house right here all right thank you rotten flesh Ooh, my favorite who doesn't like some good old rotten flesh all right it sucks now because we need torch i have two torches not, we'll make them count one yeah. Two. There we go. Actually, you can move. <laughs> My house is gonna be dark twenty four seven. You no, know, I'll guys, move the other go. torch to your house here. All right, hang on. I gotta build a door. Where, where's the entrance to your house? How? In Are we the even frick? building in the town, <laughs> bro? If we're not no. building, <laughs> we didn't even build in the town, bro. I don't even care. Wait, can't you expand the town? Yeah, you can. You can expand, yeah. But like, until we do, we're completely vulnerable. Like, someone could come here now and just like destroy our houses, and there's nothing we could do. You don't need. We don't need a house. Yeah, true, true. Also, if I suddenly randomly leave in the middle of this, it's because I have to go do things. So, uh, yeah, no, like, I, I'm, I, my presence on the stream is enhancing it, but once I leave, it'll be boring. But not yet, bro. There's like three people who said other people who said they were gonna get on and like play, but none of them did. So sad. They're like not even replying to my Discord DMs. It's very sad. That's how you build a door. Okay, bro. There we go. It's been it's it, okay. You know, I I last played this game when they when they didn't have the new combat system. They that had to like charge like up. 2015. <laughs> 2016 yeah i haven't played this game in like almost a decade it's been a hot minute hold what? up can't putting too much torches in your house like start a fire no because i hear i heard something about that a while ago i didn't think it was true no i don't think so i've never had that happen User is suspected to be part of an online terrorist organization. <laughs> oh, have you seen that? What is an Yeah, I've seen that on... I saw that on one of my friends, and I'm like, what the hell is an online terrorist group? <laughs> Not online terrorist group. They only exist online. They terrorize people online. Like, wow, it's like, wow, guys, We I griefed some kid's house in Minecraft. That That's, <laughs> no. that's some Al-Qaeda-level stuff, dude. I don't have any wool. Crap, I need to make a bed. We do need to make a bed. Nothing n nothing weird will happen in that bed, okay? Huh? It is just a normal bed meant for sleeping. Is your friend gonna get on? Or does He doesn't have Minecraft, does he? I no, Cole doesn't yeah. have Minecraft. How did you meet him? You guys are like best friends. Ah, eh, not really. I mean, I... I met him back through, um... Through, I met him through YouTube, like, in 2020. So... What's his YouTube channel? Uh, really one. it's like it's it's his Discord username. Oh. Or no, no, actually, I think it's Cole Willard. 
Uh, he has most of his videos are in Duluth, like filming the boats, which you know based. True. True. All right, I gotta put a wood floor in this house. Uh, does this have like the like the the insomnia thing where like if you don't sleep for a few days the phantom kills you? Does, does it ha does this I have that? I don't know, honestly. It better not, cause if so, I'm gonna die. I hate phantoms. I there's a reason I I like to play on older versions of Minecraft, cause this is not what I'm used to. The phantoms are bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. We have to build a wall, keep all the phantoms out. And, so, and some, I assume, are good people, but uh, <laughs> they're not sending their best. <laughs> That's true. Duluth isn't sending their best. <laughs> we need to build a wall to prevent the Duluthians from moving to Cloquet. <laughs> they're sending they're sending Democrats, even though that's like the entire range. <laughs> they're sending Democrats. All right, wowzers! Look at this. Here, I have a I door. Have a oh, I have a door. Look at, look at, look at this town. Ah! Oh ah! my God! How the heck? Oh what? my God! There's a zombie looking at me. Ow! This is another one over there. I, I'm not in here. I don't. So I, I don't exist. Can they knock down doors? That'd be scary. I'm gonna I'm gonna wall myself in here so that way they can't get to me. This is why we have to claim the area our houses are in because <laughs> then they did they despawn. Oh, how do we do that? It's just slash t claim, and then you have to stand there for like ten seconds. Selected area not attached to edge. What? You have to, you have to go right by where uh the town is. Ah. Uh. Okay, I'll do that in the day. <coughs> I'll, I'll, do, I'll do that in the day. Because uh, I don't yeah. want to die. Ah. No. I don't want to hide in your head. No, what? Why would you, why would you build... <laughs> okay, get in, get in, get in, get in. I went back to my house. Oh. I, I did that so they don't break in my door and kill me. They, they can't do that. They used to be able to break down doors. No, it's only in uh, hard mode. Oh! We have another question. Thoughts on George Wallace? Holy crap! Dude, there's like 500 <laughs> zombies outside of your house. I know. How do you think I'm hiding in here? Why are there so many of them? We have a question from Tobago Turtle asking about thoughts on George Wallace. What do you think? Uh, are you a, are you a he Wallace was pretty... enjoyer? Um, he was good outside of segregation. Yeah, other than segregation, he was like not too bad. But because of segregation, I probably could, I wouldn't support him for president. But you know, if he wasn't racist, then he would actually be a decent politician, I think. Can you, wait, can't you? Oh, we can make a furnace, actually. I need a crafting table. I don't know, like, I think, I, I think, I don't know, I would have voted for... It's like, I, I want to say I would have voted for Wallace in 68, but at the same time, no, I like... Voted Nixon. Yeah, but at the same time, knowing no, like okay, if I didn't Nixon know what Nixon based. would get into, if I didn't know what Nixon would get into, I'd nothing say Nixon. Wrong, my God, he got screwed over by the deep state, like Trump did with the impeachments. Oh just, right, yeah, but at the, but at the same time, Nixon also kind of he didn't do anything wrong. Nixon also kind of caved on a lot of issues, though. For being not honest, not really. I mean, the EPA. That was we needed that. The river in my town was literally on fire. <laughs> Screw the EPA. <laughs> I mean, now they're cringe, but back then it was needed. Well, yeah, I mean, you could say that about, like, you could say that about freaking, I don't know, you could say about so many things, though, like, oh, guys, uh, we needed the FTC back in the day, but do we need that now? No. Well, we don't, we never needed the FTC. That's the difference. I mean, the Federal Trade Commission's okay. I mean, they, they enforce tariffs, so, based. Uh, be nice if I had some iron to smelt, but I don't you because know, apparently there's no iron in the iron range. At least in Minecraft. 
Oh, right, the river was on fire. Oh, the Cuyahoga. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot the yeah, Cuyahoga yeah, yeah. caught on fire. That's why they had the EPA, because it was like, oh shit, our rivers are on fire. <laughs> it's it's it, 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 it's like Richard. A river in Ohio is literally on fire, and it's putting the lives of millions of people at risk. Ah, whatever. <laughs> ah, screw them. I don't know, I mean, Cleveland's not in the best of shape nowadays, it's looking like. Although, I assume it's, it's better than it was ten years oh, ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. It's making progress, but it's not perfect. Alright, it's daytime now. So, Alright, so we're not gonna die when we step outside of our house now. Hopefully not. Oh, balls! That's a zombie. Really? Or why isn't it dying? Boop, boop. He's on fire and he's under a tree. Gosh. Oh. Oh, ah! shit. Is there water? Bro, I know I'm gonna die. There's no water. Oh, okay. Barely survived. This is Alrighty, 2021 guys. Iron Range, so there's a drought, probably. True. Alright, let's do a little bit of claiming. Let's also go find the, uh... Where, oh, right, I gotta go on the... I gotta look on the map. I think it's this way to the river. Yeah, hang on. Okay, we're inside our little claim... Uh, pl like, plot of claimed land now. Hang on. Okay, well, then we oh, wanna go claim back in this it. way. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta go back in it. Thoughts on Eisenhower? Probably one of our best presidents. Eisenhower was, like, one of our... Where'd my axe go? Yeah, Eisenhower is probably my favorite post World War II president. Yeah, I'd say I, I'd say he's probably my favorite. We built our houses just outside of our town. <laughs> you know, we could have been a little more strategic, I guess, but that's okay. You can do it. Wait, how do we All earn right. money? That's my question. Money. Okay, go oh, back we have a little bit. Four hundred dollars, really? Wow. Can I claim stuff? Town cannot afford to claim Wait, I'm one not in town, town block. I, I, did I never join your town? Wait, hang on. Yeah, I never joined the town. <laughs> Bruh moment. All right, there we go. Slash T claim. Oh. Oh, it's gonna annex. In a second here. It, it only has half your house. You have to clear. Ah! Uh! <laughs> it, it ends like halfway to through your house. Bro! Uh, I, my house is half in cloquet, guys. Oh, our, our houses appear on the map now. That's cool. They look like squares. I mean, that's what they are, but like. That's how they made like townships in the Midwest. And, like the. 1750s they just made squares and were like all right yeah this is uh this is the city but they, they they made like a bunch of squares and then they're like all right your house is also a convenience store <laughs> yeah literally how the midwest was settled at least ohio i don't know about minnesota at least ohio indiana michigan like places like that i don't know about minnesota oh Min minnesota is basically this oh my god i don't want to deposit 15 dollars you you have to into the town bank to claim it Okay. Making my way downtown, walking fast and I'm homebound. Making my way downtown, getting stabbed while I'm getting carjacked. Least crime-filled day in Minneapolis. <laughs> it's like we've only had 10 carjackings <laughs> instead of 11, guys. You know, we're making progress. What's interesting is, right. like, the city of Cleveland itself is actually, like, not too bad. It's, like, the it's like East Cleveland and, like, the I was about to say, yeah, right East next to Yeah, East Cleveland's bad. so bad. I wouldn't... You couldn't pay me to even just drive through East Cleveland. <gasps> now, for those of you wondering why it is a bad part, no. I'm not racist. Whoa, I just whoa, make analysis... Whoa, 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 whoa. I just make analysis based off FBI crime statistics. True. It actually... Well, why am I going north? This is north. Wait, where, is this the wait, way to the river? Where'd you go? I'm trying to find the river. 
You are not even close to. Well, the I know. I'm going north. I thought I was going the other way. User is suspected to be part of an online terrorist organization. Ha! <laughs> Based. Me when I lie. Give me this. Give me. Ow! Do you guys have red mushrooms and berries? I don't think so. We have, like, white mushrooms. Well, we have berries and red mushrooms. Hmm, I can Ooh. make drugs out of those and sell them in Duluth for money. Bruh. Ow! Man, I love, I love the chat. What the heck, dude? Why do people watch this? These are the though? people that we that, that we're allied with. <laughs> the thing I'd like to know is why do people legitimately watch that stuff? I like have it's no kind of weird. Bro, I lost the town. <laughs> Bruh. Wait, no, never mind. I'm just still too far north. Wait, crap! I got I I gotta claim your I gotta claim your house to be part of the town. Whoops. It's okay. I have to join the town. <laughs> This I is def this is real oh, life footage sheep. of how cloak it. If only we had shears and iron in the iron range. All right, we have another question. Top five best Dem presidents. Number one is Polk. James Polk. Polk. I'm a Jackson enjoyer personally. Uh, Polk and Jackson are the are the top two. Number three would probably be Grover Cleveland. Yeah, Cleveland was good. Outside of the fact he sent in uh, like a bunch of a bunch of guys to like you know break yeah. up a labor union strike, but we don't talk that about that. That was his one L, you know. We all make mistakes. I claimed half your house to be That's part okay. of the town. That's better than nothing. Ah, <laughs> half your house is uh, protected. The other half. Yeah, if there's a you. crime in like your backyard, we're not gonna help you. But <laughs> is this the right way? To the the river. What's the river called that goes through Duluth? Is it that the Mississippi River? No, it's the St. Louis River. Oh, okay. I think I'm at the St. Louis River then. If only we had a that's bucket. how that that's why that's why it's called St. Louis County because uh it's because of the river. It's the largest county other than like one in Maine, isn't it? Yeah, the... yeah. It's it's the second largest in the mainland U.S. I believe. Yeah. Other than like one in land Maine. what? Other than uh. Piscot East Maine or something like that. Yeah. Ooh, it's freezing over. It's just like real life. It's the same. Okay, Lake Superior has frozen over pretty quickly already. This is it's it's fro it's frozen over way too quickly. It's not supposed to be doing that yet. Because yeah. normally the deep freeze doesn't start until New Year's. But hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, not the river. I'm not sure why I came here. I don't even have, I don't don't know. I have any? Actually, if I do, I have strength. No, I was you're say like you're in where you're in where Duluth is supposed yeah, to be. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to find where you'd the river be, was. You'd be walking through Lester Park right now. Don't. That's not very helpful to an Ohio. That's uh that that. that oh you, my! What it? What just attacked me? What what is this? Sweet berries. So if I touch sweet berries, I die. What? Uh huh. Wow, that's great. Well, you lose like half a heart. Oh, it, it barely does anything, though. Ooh, a raw chicken. Hold I up. have to poop. You have to poop. <laughs> Film yourself pooping and upload it to YouTube. <laughs> Buckeye politics poops himself. <laughs> Buck, Buckeye, Buckeye politics pooping. Buckeye politics live pooping stream. <laughs> All right, boys, we're sitting in the we're sitting on the we're sitting on the toilet. Sitting on the toilet. Sitting on the toilet. You know, like we're supposed to be high schoolers, but our jokes are like jokes that seven-year-olds make in the cafeteria. Well, you're not wrong. I mean, to be fair, we are playing a Minecraft server. <laughs> oh, I'm not part of the town. Can I join the town, please? No. No. Please? <laughs> no. Go build your own town. <laughs> okay, I hang on. I'm I'm doing things in the river. Hang on. What? Whoa. I'm doing things in the river. That's... It... Don't ask. 
Right, I'm gonna poop. I'll be right back. Buckeye politics pooped, guys. He pooped himself on stream! Oh, shit. I gotta get back to my house. I gotta get back there! Oh, a sheep. Hello. Okay. I f I, I, wow, I got one piece of wool. That's great, dude. DeSantis or Trump? Trump. Trump. I'd, I'd, vote, for, I'd, vote, for, I'd Trump, vote for DeSantis dude. in the general, but for the primary, Trump all the way. I don't know. Like, I, I'm, I'm kind of skeptical of DeSantis. Like, I I, too, he's a good he's governor, but... Well, yeah, but at the same time, like, he'll probably just be a generic Republican. If well, yeah, he gets but I'd office. still prefer that over Biden, like. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, like, like my issue with this, my issues with DeSantis are, I don't, like, where does he stand on trade? Because exactly, he voted that's against. my thoughts, yeah, he voted he against. Voted like, against every... He voted against USMCA, so mm, I don't know. That's a that's, huge turn that's off, weird. yeah. Like, I mean, people, like, I don't know, we learned in my in my intro to business class, they were like, USMCA is basically just naft. I'm like, no, it's not. Read into it. It's way different. Most like, yeah, it's a free trade. <laughs> <laughs> Business class. Dude, he, he such okay, that I hated that guy, dude. He said stuff like tariffs don't work, and I'm like, shut Bro. up. Bro, this guy this guy said, Oh yeah, the Trump tariffs really backfired on the iron ore industry. I'm like, no, they didn't. <laughs> did you not see what did you not read the headlines out of the Hibbing newspapers, dude? Like they they were mining like there was no tomorrow up there, and now it's there's only two of ten operating now. So, do you think do, do thanks we, a lot. Do you think all those miners who got laid off like voted Republican, or do you think they will at they, some point or no? I th I think it depends on what age group. The older ones, for whatever reason, just don't want to. The younger ones who are in like their twenties, thirties, and forties voted red though. Like the the middle aged and younger ones did. It's it's weird. It is weird. It's not usually. Weird. I don't know. I mean, the Iron Range, I think, will turn red eventually. It's just we gotta wait for all like the elitist retirees to die off. That's what we gotta wait for. Kind of like that sounds awful. In, but... Yeah, I know, but I know what you mean. Kind of like those counties in northern Wisconsin. Yeah, like like Douglas, Bayfield, and Ashland. Yeah. Like like there's a county called Cook. Nope. Bro, in get, get, let me in the town. I can't get into my house. I can't open the door. <laughs> oh shoot! Uh, I'm getting a I'm getting a Mountain Dew. Hang on. <laughs> oh, why did it work all of a sudden? Oh no, it lagged. No, I was about to say. I can't, I'm gonna I die. To I can't say. get into my house. I can't open the door. <laughs> I was trying to I was trying to chop down some trees by the river, and it kept like making me redo it because it was lagging. But what I was saying though, like the. Like, northwestern Wisconsin, like, it depends on what part of the county is. Like, Douglas County should be on paper, a, like, a R plus 30. Well, yeah, but, but there's a not. lot of... Isn't there's a lot of Native Americans, too, actually. There is. Uh, like, I mean, the there, southern there, part of Douglas like, County is red. Yeah. There's a lot of retirees Superior... and a lot of Native Americans. I mean, it is still, it's still super blue-collar. Like, the people who, like, a lot of, like, the middle-aged and younger people who live there voted Trump. That's why it got, that's why it's been getting so close. Well, yeah. But it's, like, Cook County, Minnesota used to be, like, really red. 
up until recently. But it doesn't really matter electorally because it has like 2,000 people. So, I mean, neither Carlton and Lake also don't really matter because only like, yeah, I, but, Car but it looks, but Carlton County looks cooler if it's right on a map, okay? It For looks sure. cooler. Can I join the well, town, please, sir? How did I get rotten flesh? Hang on. I tried right-clicking you, whoops. Sure. Slash T, invite, bengal, That's me. cat, 800. Slash, accept. Let's go! Yeah, he's in the Iron Ranger Republic! Let's go! <laughs> the world's shittiest town! <laughs> we got two houses that are only half in the town. <laughs> no, they're fully in the town. I annexed more land. Oh, okay, nice. This really is like the start of Cloquet. Now we just gotta wait for a giant fire to come through and burn. Twice. Twice? It's not very lucky. Oh yeah, no. The the great Hinkley fire in the eighteen nineties and then Hinkley. the great and then the, the Hinkley, Minnesota. There's a Hinkley, Ohio. <laughs> Hinkley, Minnesota is considered like the halfway point between the Twin Cities and Duluth. So we're not Cloquet isn't too far from it. It's like thirty minutes away. I go there a lot. Oh yeah, if you ever if you ever come to Minnesota and you go to northern Minnesota, there's a lot of uh, train stuff because uh, you're a big rail Ooh, fan guy. So I am. You'd love you'd love Duluth because there's BNSF and Canadian National, and also you Union Pacific. So yeah, I like you'd Union like Pacific. It. I like They're one of my favorites. I, okay, personally, I, Norfolk Southern. My too. And I like Norfolk Sun. Okay, what is your favorite retro railroad that no longer exists? Your favorite, retro? like, old one? Oh, that's a good like, question. One... For me, it's it's either San... it's either Burlington Northern or Santa Fe. It's one of those two. Santa Fe? I, I've always liked Santa Fe. Baltimore, Ohio I is all... kind of cool. I also like, um... What's it called? Uh, I also like Conrail. Yeah. Oh no, my favorite's Duluth Masabi and Iron Range DM and IR. Hello, popular got... Missourian. How is work? They got bought out and then oh, he's here. Who? That's a guy we streamed with on election night. That's true, or we tried to. I don't want to talk about election night. That's a that's still a That sore never point happened. For me. You know? It's, it's, who, who, it's who, so I that no, was that never you know... happened. What are you talking about? Oh right, the election's in two days. I forgot. <laughs> Yeah, there was no midterm election, my guy. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, but Scott Jensen's the governor of Minnesota, guys. Yeah, exactly. He won, or he's going to win because the election hasn't happened yet. <laughs> uh, I I can't believe I thought he actually had a chance. I'm I, so I, dumb. I I thought he did like over the summer, like when the Green Party was polling pretty high and it looked like it was going to be a red wave. But by fall, I I was pr I knew he probably wasn't going to win. Okay, like I, I, okay, I thought he had a chance at winning. It just depended on how much, like, how many DFLers were gonna turn out on election night. And a lot did for some reason. And it was way more than expected. Like people were expecting Minnesota's governor race to be like, to be like Kansas level close, but it wasn't. I don't know, Minnesota. I, I love is this like, state. Is uh, Walls death, super but... popular, or no? No, that, Walls is why, hate. Yeah. At, I figured that. at least that's in my part of the weird. state. At least well, in the yeah. Iron Range, he is hated up here. But oh, Iron, uh, yeah, I I'm watching iron your stream. Too. I'm watching your stream. <laughs> you found Iron. Coal too. Finally, some resources. Yay! Finally, the Iron Range is living up to its name, giving us eight finally. iron. <laughs> now you got about fifty million more tons to compete with. True. I don't know. I mean, I'm hopeful. Like Minnesota could be a red state. It just depends on what know. happens in the Twin Cities. It yeah, could be. Twin Cities are kind of gonna screw that over. If this was like 2016, Minnesota, After I'd say yeah. There's definitely. I thought it was gonna be a red state. Honestly, I th like, I thought Minnesota. I thought Minnesota. Post 2016, I'm sitting here like, yeah, Minnesota's gonna flip red. The governorship was only was only like D plus five in in 2014. 
which was like a record for the time, and it was a super popular DFL guy, and he didn't even give it about get above fifty. Yeah. So everyone was like, "Oh, there's a chance." Nope. Yeah, when Trump got like super close and the governorship got close, I seriously thought I was thinking, "Okay, Minnesota is going to be a red state in like five years, ten years." And then the 2020 election happened. We saw those ships, and I was like, "Yeah, no." <laughs> I think the okay, honestly, I, I I think what caused it wasn't the Twin Cities growth. I think it was COVID. COVID. I've heard COVID that in the too. Ride. Yeah, a lot of people have said that. Like in Minnesota, the thing I noticed was a lot of like people in the middle up here, uh, at least in the Iron Range area, who they were, were thinking about COVID, voting yeah. Trump. They were they were considering voting Trump in like 2019. They said, "Hey, I kind of like his economy policies." And then COVID came around and completely undid those. And then they were like, "He's awful. He wants us to be to be killed." And now they're brainwashed. Yeah, that's what happened in like a lot of places, especially with older voters. I've noticed. Uh, yeah, like I, like people like my grandma who were gonna they were she was considering voting for Trump, but then COVID happened and she like loves walls now. So it's sad, but what you gonna do? At least at least my grandpa's really based. That's what matters. My grandpa's based also a blue dog Democrat who is now a Trump supporter. Mm. Oh, holy balls! There's a skeleton with chain armor. Holy crap. He's firing at me. I should I'm gonna go in here. Yeah, I think there's an Trump arrow in the back the of my head. Uh, Republican my grandpa ever voted for on the presidential level. It depends on what I like think. for my oh, grandpa. might have voted for Nixon in seventy two. I don't know for sure though. I my mom okay, my He was a my union mom, leader, so my mom's parents voted Okay, my mom's parents, which is my the grandparents I see the most. That's the one where my grandma's like a big Democrat. She hasn't voted for a Republican ever. I think, oh, she did once, and it was for Arnie Carlson, the, that one governor candidate yeah. we had a while ago, who is was such a squishy moderate that it's unreal. Like, the guy wanted abortion in the States. Like, go figure. So... You think if we actually ran, like, a true, like, populist Republican in Minnesota who was, you know, not too socially, like, far right, but, you know, socially conservative... But economically, like an actual populist, do you think they would actually win or like do really well? Uh, I I think you you Minnesota, you have to run your campaign right, and that's the that's the thing that our state GOP doesn't understand. Well, yeah, handling the Somalis I mean, twenty four seven. Well, I don't know, like the way to do it. I I think what we need to do is you need to run a Republican who has like grassroots appeal, and is like socially far right, but doesn't appear to be socially yeah. far right. Like, you need one who's far, like, you need to be, like... Because there's a difference between people who are actually, like, you know, socially conservative and people who just, like, you know, aren't, but appear that way, or vice versa. Like, for me, like, people people often think, like, whenever they meet me, they think I'm, like, this socially apathetic libertarian. Like, they say that's what I look like, and I'm like, right, but the thing is, I'm not. I'm, like, one of the most hardline cultural people you'll ever meet. Yeah. Uh, we don't talk about some of the things I've said, because I could get... We could get TOS'd for that, <laughs> so... At least on YouTube. If yeah. this was any other platform, I'd say it. But also, I don't feel like getting... I don't feel like getting cancelled either, so... Yeah. I'm not, like, super socially, like, far-right. I'm definitely socially conservative, but I wouldn't consider myself socially, like, far-right. Maybe, I, maybe I'm, like, abortion is the only issue that I would say that, because I don't support any exceptions. Uh, so. uh, abortion and the... Abortion and, like, the gay stuff are what I'm far-right on. I can't, yeah, I, I, I agree with that. Other than that, though, I'm not, like, too, you know... I don't really mind. Other, I, don't I, don't really, know. I don't have a problem with legal weed. I thought you hated legal weed. No. I don't have a what? problem. What? I would. I would never do it, but I don't have a problem with it. Oh, or, I don't. I don't like legal weed. I, I don't think, think we should decriminalize it, it for sure. Legalize it? I don't know though. But I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I'm kind of in the middle on. I don't really. I don't really know. But definitely decriminalize it. Like, owning it, selling it should be, like, you should go to jail for a long time. But just to have it on you, I don't think that should be a felony. I think that should just be a misdemeanor. Well, I don't I don't think you should go to jail for it, but I think you should get well, yeah. fined for it. Well, yeah, that that's, what that's what a misdemeanor versus felony yeah. oh, is. Oh, all right. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, so, I guess on I weed, I'm relatively moderate, I guess you could say. Or I'm, mean, like, just a mainstream. I, can, I, I have a dragon view. fruit on my head. <laughs> <laughs> I have a dragon. I used to be my... super socially libertarian, though. 
like 2020. Oh yeah, like okay. I remember. I remember your video in 2021. You said, "I will remember when Donald Trump says he's pro gun because he banned bump stocks." Yeah, that's what that was me like 2020, 2021. I used to okay. What I used to be, you're not gonna believe this. I used to be like really socially like liberal. Really, I kind of was too. In 2020, in 2018, I was actually a uh, Bernie supporter. I actually originally in... supported Tulsi Gabbard for president in 2020. In 2020, like, in 2019, like I've always been, I supported her for president, and then I kind of became more socially lit, like more like economically right wing. Socially, I was still pretty left wing even in 2020. I've always been, I've always been a Trump guy. Well, yes, yeah, I've always been a, a Trump dude, but I was the, the big thing is, and then I kind of shifted away in 2018, and then I shifted back in like 2019, 2020, and oh, 2020. so you're every, so you're every Minnesotan on the electorate during basically, the yeah. Run. Every Minnesotan during the 2018 elections. I hate Trump. Minnesotans like in 2019. Main, yeah, like most of like my main views have stayed the same. Like even when I was supporting like Tulsi Gabbard in 2019, I was still like pro-life. Um, no exceptions. I've never changed my view on that. Even when I was like a libertarian, even when I was like a left-wing libertarian, I was still pro-life because you know, it's literally. I used, a, like I, I've always yeah. been right-wing. I've always been right-wing. But the big thing is, is my political. Okay, here's how I went. So in 2017, 2018. When I was in like, when I was in st still in elementary school, <laughs> um, God, I I'm such a I'm such a no life. I got into I got into politics when I was in like third grade. Really? That was the I got yeah. Into I I, for I a like a little bit in 2016 when Trump first ran because like everyone in my town it was so crazy. Like I used to live in like a pretty like swing like you know I mean it was a Republican area but not super Republican like you know. Like R plus five every electorate, and then you know, not a whole, not super political. But then as soon as Trump came around, like every single house, I swear, had a Trump sign. My friend, people were wearing MAGA hats to like the school, to school in the supermarket. My, it was just went crazy for Trump. And then that kind of got me into it in 2016. Then I kind of fell out of it for a little bit, and then I got back into it, obviously. My town, Cloquet used to be like a D plus 40 every election. Like it, yeah. it used to overwhelmingly vote for the DFL, and then Trump came around, and it was only I. I believe it only voted for Biden by like five. Yeah, that makes it sense. It voted for it, it. It almost voted for Trump, and then the people who graduated high school, the like those years yeah. came out for Biden mm. when they weren't supposed to. So, like I don't know. I this state's just I don't know. Minnesota I don't is so cursed politically. Like I'm sorry. I uh, <laughs> I no I I hate this state. Like I really do. I love it, but I hate it. Like I'm probably gonna move out of this state once I graduate. Come to Ohio. Once I graduate high school, I don't know if I don't. I don't want to be in the Midwest. I it's too why cold. the Midwest I hate, is awesome. I hate the cold, dude. I'm Bro, sorry. I love the snow and cold. I mean, I don't say love it, but like I don't mind it. I think it's nice. I yeah, like I don't know. I just, seasons. I you know I used to be that guy, but now I'm just to the point where like I just I hate being held prisoner for nine like nine months of the year. Well, I guess it's the winters are probably way worse in northern Minnesota than northern Ohio. They are, dude. We're we <laughs> like, get like, like negative almost every day in January. We get like negative forty wind chill. It's yeah, so well, nice. like the worst so we get like negative ten, negative twenty. So <laughs> yeah, no, it's the wind chill right now is negative thirty five. The wind chill right now is negative five. So and we just we just got over a foot of snow the past couple of days. Yeah, it's here, like so. we got like six inches of snow and it's like negative five. So yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a difference. I didn't say that. What? Huh? I said, uh, you said we got over six inches of snow. I said mine's still bigger. True. My arm, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a short arm, but, you know, it's okay. Okay, Cloquet. Yeah, Cloquet voted for Biden by 12. Although, yeah. if I, you the, translate that into, like, raw I vote margins, it was, only, it was only by 800. Only by 800 votes. Yeah, the town I so. used to live in, that it's like, it was like an Obama... I think McCain won it by like one point. Like it, it was like solid for it was like solid for every Republican, and then McCain just fell apart. He won it by like a point, and then it's gotten more Republican ever since. Now it's like Trump plus thirty. Like okay, Carlton County, which is the that's that's the county. I mean, Carlton is Carlton only voted for Biden by one and a half. Yeah. After voting for Obama by let me look. After voting for Obama by thirty three. Yeah, Medina County only voted for McCain by like eight, and then it voted for Trump by like twenty something. I don't know. I, I just I don't know. I just wish Minnesota voters would get their head out of their ass, but that's not gonna happen.
The DFL is an institution. That's what they are. They're based. They're they're an institution in Minnesota, and that's something I need to. That's something I need to deal with, like live with. Yeah. Probably gonna go to. I might go to Wyoming. I'm not that's sure. That's a really random state to go to. Like. Well, think about okay. It's everything blue. No, it's not. It, it's gotten redder. <laughs> Go to Georgia. Uh, keep it keep it red. Or no, go to Texas. Keep it red. Te Georgia's gone. Well, no, then go There's to no Texas. Saving it. Yeah, maybe. It may be Texas. I'm a Texas enjoyer. I used to want to move to Texas. All right, I don't know. I would, move to, I, would, I would move to. I would. I would move to. I would go to Texas, but my my uh, my family would like my at least a few members of my family would think I'm like some crazy nut job for going there because they they don't they 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 don't have the internet. Like the my that one my dem like my grandma who's a Democrat doesn't have the internet in her house so she doesn't see the other side of the information, mm -hmm. so she thinks uh, she thinks Texas they're all crazy and I'm like <laughs> really, <laughs> I'm like you haven't even been there you can't say that. I've actually never been to Texas. My mom used to live there though. I've been to California before. I have never been to California. No desire to go. Okay. I went there five years ago on a trip to well, San I've been Diego. To Alaska, but I haven't been to Texas. You haven't been to any of the two largest states in America, but you've been to Alaska. That's <laughs> makes perfect sense. Yeah, real. I was like four though. I don't. I barely remember it. When'd you go? Like what month? Like September. Oh, so the weather didn't suck. No, yeah, it was like fifty. Yeah, like my entire family took like a cruise, like from Seattle, and then we went up to Alaska. Oh, cool! So you guys got to go along like the Vancouver coast. Yeah, it was then, so huh? nice. I mean, I, I don't remember it. I, I, I don't. All I have is like pictures that like my parents took that I've seen. But like, I went on a, I, I went like on a four, cruise. So. On, on, I went on a cruise on Lake Superior. I went from mm. we, we went, we went from Duluth all the way up to Thunder Bay and back. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, they kind of have that in Cleveland. You can go from like Cleveland to uh, Sandusky. It it was pretty. Like the like Northern Minnesota is really pretty. Uh, especially along the the lake coast. Although you don't you don't want to live on the lake coast because you pay ridiculously high taxes for it. So. So yeah, don't don't ever buy a lakefront home in two harbors, especially bad idea. Oak logs. I'm gonna start making okay. a farm because I have seeds and I got. Yeah, I don't really I don't really know I don't really know what I should do. I'm just kind of walking around. You can go mining. That's probably the best thing to do. Gonna be honest. Yeah, it's night. It's night time. Oh, there's That's a sheep. The I can make. Oh, I need a bed. I need a bed. Ah, oh, it's a skeleton. Uh oh. Ah, being chased by a skeleton and a spider. I lower my hoe. He's shooting. He's trying to shoot at me through the door. All right, there we go. Oh shoot! There's an NS Heritage unit in Minnesota right now. Oh heck yeah! Which one? 8102. Oh, let's go. Oh, it's all the way out in. Ah, uh, never mind. It's all the way out in freaking Dilworth. Never mind. Are you on like the ship tracker site? No, I I have an app on my phone where it people can report where different where the NS Heritage units are. Like. The different heritage units yeah. for railroads. They can re you can report where they are oh, okay. if you see them. And someone reported reported Norfolk Southern eighty one hundred two to be in Dilworth right yeah, now. There's this website that I like to go on. It's marine memory. traffic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I use that a lot because uh, whenever I go to so Duluth, much. whenever I go to Duluth, I like to I like to watch boats in Canal Park and I look at that to see what's going in. I'm such an autist. What's I I I need to I need to set myself straight. Nah, you, I actually. You actually like you know. But I don't. That's what's that's the difference. I don't think I do. I don't know. Nah, I mean I I can function as a normal person most of the time. Most of the time. Yeah, well, only most of the time. Why is some guys named Canada? Canada. Oh, Canada. I've been to Canada Our too. home it's and native land. Yeah, I've been there. I've been to Winnipeg. Winnipeg? I've been to Ontario. That's about it. I've been to Thunder Bay, which is in Ontario, and I've been to Winnipeg. Yeah, Thunder Bay is nice, it. from what I've heard. It's... Thunder Bay's... I don't... 
Wait, what about required sleep? Oh, shoot, the phantom's gonna come out if I don't get sleep. Ah. Uh, I have shears, so if there is a sheep, just let me know. Uh, I, I had, I found a sheep that I was gonna go kill until I got murdered by a skeleton. Okay, well, I have Almost. shears. I'll go look for it. Okay, there's a sheep out here. I wanna okay. kill the sheep. Get no, don't the I have one. shears. Don't kill it. Ah, the creepers! That was a stealth mission. I got the wool. Holy balls. I've been to Vancouver. Yeah, Rye Guy. Vancouver. I think I've been to Vancouver on the when I went to like Alaska on the cruise. I think we stopped there. I don't remember it, but I think I have been to Vancouver. Vancouver Canada is not very based. I mean, it's beautiful from what I've seen, and probably. I mean, not there. It depends like on what Portland, part. Like it's like the, the Portland, Oregon of Canada. The suburbs of Vancouver are based, but. I don't really follow Canadian politics. I just know. Yeah, that I I have I, just know, I have like, a weird Pierre Polyve is based. That's all I Pierre really Pierre Polyev, Yeah, I I kind of like really I I I have like a secret thing for Canadian politics. Like I pay attention to it a lot. I don't know why I just do. Yeah, I don't really know much. Western Canada is extremely based. Yeah, like they're over, Alberta even, like, the cities of like Western Canada. Calgary, like. The Conservative Party wins in Calgary a lot, although yeah. I don't, I don't really know how conservative their Conservative Party is. It, though it's not; they're like all pro pro choice, and they're only conservative on like taxes and like they're pro. I don't, I don't think they're not pro choice. The party constitution says don't touch abortion, but the actual members themselves want abortion restriction. Some do, some don't. I don't know. I know, I know. Polyev said he does. So Polyev, I thought he said, I thought he's pro choice. I know he's pro immigration. I don't know. If which is cringe, but I mean, with I mean, with Canada, their immigration system is better than ours somehow. That's true. Well, they don't have Mexico on their border, <laughs> screwing everything. I mean, up. okay, I I okay, I, I I respect Quebec a lot because they have Quebec they've had to put based. up with. A... Dude, they Bro. hate Muslims. Bro, that's that's not what I meant, <laughs> but <laughs> I didn't say that. No, they're all they're pretty based. Ow. Like they're 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 provincial governor like is really based ontario's quote-unquote conservative governor is like more liberal than quebec's like bloc quebecois governor I don't, I don't i don't speak french i don't know how you say it uh you know what okay I mean, you know? He, he's he's not a part of the bloc quebecois he's a he he's a part of like i don't know the quebecois is uh that party's and they're a national party yeah, I, I don't really know how. I don't really know what their purpose is they're, i don't know they're pro like uh, quebec independence that's all i know I don't really know what that's supposed to achieve when you don't run candidates outside of Quebec. Like, how are you going to get a majority government then to pass that? That's not going to happen. I don't know. It's maybe it's kind of like the. Uh, eh, never mind. There's not really a good American comparison. Confederate. Never mind. <laughs> CSA. <laughs> yeah, like the Democrats and the CSA, I guess, or like the segregation people. Like, I don't know. There wasn't really like a block for that though. It was kind of just like segregation a was. This has been censored. Here's what I think about segregation, and then Isn't I just cut my audio. Episode. I don't know. I don't think so. I have, Trudeau's I don't know. from Mon Trudeau's from Montreal. Oh, so he is. Okay. It depends on what part of Quebec. Like rural Quebec. Like okay, anything outside of Montreal is really based. What's interesting Montreal's about like, Canada gay. is their like Canadian nationalism is like considered a left wing ideology. Not really anymore. It used to be. What well, used to be? Yeah. Now it's kind of like mixed. I want to find another sheep. Sticks. Or how have we only been playing for like not even an hour? Or about We've been hour. playing for like 40 minutes. I know. It feels like we've been on for like a long time though. But we're having fun. At least I am. One out of 23 players sleeping. I wish we had like more people though. You know, oh. like if we had an entire city or country. There were like <laughs> there were like five people who told me they were gonna get on. There was like Boston Zoomer, Ooh. uh, like Nevada man, um, like Carlos Gomez if you know who that is. Uh, I've heard of him. Yeah, there's a, a bunch of people who are like, oh yeah, we'll get on and play Minecraft, and then none of them get on. 
I almost you didn't cool. because I was having. I didn't. I, I almost didn't because I was having problems, but I I, fi I figured it out. So yeah, but you're, we're good. you're cool. So you got on. You have solved the problems. You're a problem solver. It's that Minnesota ingenuity. I don't really know if many Minnesotans have ingenuity. I mean, well, not anymore, rural Minnesota. They, they used rural to. Minnesota. Rural Minnesotans eh. do, but like, okay, if. If okay, if Central Minnesota ran the state government, Minnesota would be a much better state. Although, why don't you just like I give? Mean, why don't you just make like uh, Minneapolis its own its own state? Okay, I've <laughs> I've proposed that as like a joke. I said, hey, what if the Twin Cities Metro becomes its own country, and then rural Minnesota is like just Minnesota? Yeah, honestly. because if if you take let me hang on let me go on election shuffler. Yeah, I, I, was literally, you, I was literally about to do that. You can do it. Because okay, we, if you click on Minnesota and you turn and you if, turn okay, if none down, of Hennepin, yeah. if none of Hennepin, Ramsey, Washington, Dakota. Oh my God, let me. This mouse sucks. Dakota. Don't, don't be mean to the mouse. It's trying to Anoka, right, right, Carver and Scott. So, if none of the Twin Cities area turned out, like, including the GOP counties, Trump would have carried Minnesota by 18 points. Yeah, that's the rural-urban political divide right there for you. That's what's sad, is rural America that's, is that, so hard by everything. Yeah, and there's nothing they, they can do. That's, with, just, they don't that's have what the Iron people. Range turning out for Biden still. Like, that's what the major metro yeah. areas outside of Minneapolis still turning out for Biden, and it still votes our still votes r plus 18 so i don't know it's weird what's weird is in a lot of places it's like the cities and not in a lot of places but in some places the cities are actually the conservative areas in some uh... places in, some, in, like, in like asia it's weird oh a asia politics are just i don't yeah. even know how to explain it dude and same thing like with so, Brazil, like... to an extent it's basically just south versus north though okay brazil i've okay i looked into that those results for brazil there was Actually, I can't say that on YouTube, so There was definitely sus stuff. Even if Bolsonaro won, there was definitely sus stuff. It's a South American Because his... Election. Okay, his <laughs> approval... His, Bolsonaro's approval was, like, plus 17, wasn't it? Like, it was really yeah. high. Well, actually, eh, I don't know. He was... I, 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 he, was I, I he was polling really bit poorly. I don't know about his well, approval, Well, to be though. fair, to be, to be fair, those... Oh, it sounds... Oh, I'm getting a call again. No, but, like, even if Bolsonaro... God damn it. Well, uh, this is nice. <laughs> Gotta wait for him to get back from his calls so I can... Oh, you keep your inventory. That's nice. Well, uh, Tobago Turtle. Remember your old future swing state series or Alaska one might end up true in 2028? Yeah, that's true. Alaska, is... Alaska and Kansas are just going to the left, unfortunately. So, I wouldn't be surprised if both of them vote blue in, like, 2028 or 2032. Well, state go... Alaska and Kansas if they both vote blue okay, in yeah. 10 years. Okay, I yeah. Died. Ala Can okay. I TP to you? Okay, uh, like, literally as soon as you left to take your call, a creeper blew up right behind me. I didn't see it. TP. Hang on. Slash TPA here, Bengal cat 800. You keep your inventory when you die, so that's kind of nice. Thank you. All right. So, okay, one state I think that will be, like, a safe red state soon, though, would be Wisconsin. Wisconsin's going to be, like, a R plus 10 state within 10 yeah, years. Yeah, eventually, in 10 years. I mean, that's good, though. I mean, if Wisconsin does become... I mean, because Wisconsin is considered a bellwether still. Yeah. Because it's voted for the winner... I'm Michigan. I used to think Michigan would become, like, a red state. Now I'm a little worried, though. Michigan, okay, I think the thing with Michigan is, even with prior Democrat trifectas, Michigan was still always competitive. Yeah, true. So, I don't like like same with Minnesota. Like when Minnesota gets a Democrat trifecta, the state becomes more competitive than when there's the GOP yeah, presence I hope in the Whitmer, state government. With it's her weird. like super with her majority just like destroys the state. Not, not not like destroys, but you know what I mean? Like shit just hits the fan and then we see like a big Republican revolution in like 5 10 years. That's best case What I want to see with Michigan is I want to see her go scorched earth and then flush out all the liberals so they can go ruin Illinois more. Yeah. Actually, we don't really need this water source. I, I made I, I made a farm in the back. If you want to check it out. 
a lot. Okay, I I have a take on Alaska. I feel like a lot. Okay, if you look at the results from Alaska this cycle, Republicans turned out more than Democrats by like thirty points. But the problem is the ranked choice voting screwed them over. Yeah, that's true. I I don't think Alaska per se is going to be a blue state. I think it it could get a little close, but I think the big thing is is Trump just wasn't popular there. Yeah, it's more it's like if, a liber it's a pretty libertarian state. Like if you run right. like okay like someone like Ron DeSantis or Josh Hawley would do really good there though. Yeah, I, I agree. Like. I think anyone besides Trump would win Alaska by like ten to fifteen. Like I don't know. Like I mean, like Mike Dunleavy won by a crap ton in a cursed voting system. So I'm not too just, worried I think about it's just Alaska. The vote was split like for the for the election. The, uh, yeah, because okay, if you because if like Mary Peltola got thirty six thousand votes. But then, like, Sarah Palin and Nick Bajic combined had, like, over 70,000. Yeah. If you combine it's both just they polls. didn't rank so... those voting screwed us over, yeah. And even like, if then, you combine uh, all the GOP Potoda votes, was still they would have won. Candidate, like, one. objectively. She was a really good candidate. I mean, she was also, like, an Alaskan native, and she was able to appeal to that yeah, oil pipeline. Yeah, she was able to get pipeline. crazy, like, native turnout and still do really well with, like, you know, swing voters, independents, Republicans. Like, she was just a really good candidate. And that I don't know what to say. Like... voting screwed us over. Some of the uh, some of the Alaska natives are pretty based. Like Eastern Alaska natives are really based, but then on the on like the western side by Russia, yeah. they're not. Northern Alaska, it's like the northernmost county actually flipped to Trump, and it's like ninety percent native, in like from twenty sixteen well, to twenty twenty. That's where that's where Prudhoe Bay is, I think. That's well, yeah. like a big oil. I only know that because I used to watch Ice Road Truckers when I was a little kid, <laughs> and they used to drive to that town a lot. Do you have any dirt? Uh... You have any dirt? That's a, a weird dirt. question. Thank you. Yeah, you got any dirt? Hang on. Uh, oh, Literally shoot. rural Minnesota. Go. Asking your neighbor for dirt. <laughs> Asking your neighbor for I, Oh, I have like a full stack of dirt, my guy. Oh, I got a full stack of dirt, you know. Thank you. You know what? Have my entire stack of dirt while you're headed. I appreciate that, neighbor. Eh, hey, don't you know? It's what we do up here, you know. You're not from Canada. Oh, a lot of us talk like that, me included. Yeah. We sound like Canadians up here. Yeah. Rare Minnesota L. Well, to be fair, like, you haven't heard those jokes at all? What? About Canada? That Minnesota sound... You haven't heard the jokes that we sound like Canadians? No. Really? That's, like, the number one thing people talk to us about. Really? I've never Yeah, people, heard every... That. Every time I'm in like a Discord call with other people from like other states, they're like they're like either you're from Minnesota or you're a Canadian, and I'm like, how do you know that? You sound like normal to me. Although then again, I used to have a pretty thick Iron uh, Range accent though, so it used to be pretty thick. Although not, I used not to anymore. have a thick like Midwestern accent. It kind of went away though. Then again, I was kind of LARPing, but still. What does an Iron Range accent sound like? Uh, it sounds like a Canadian one to an extent, but it, it's just a little more boring. It's like a more boring Canadian accent. Mm. I don't know, like a lot of the boomers from Hibbing sound like that, and it's it's weird to think about. Hopefully this farm starts growing quick. This is this is truly how northern Minnesota was settled right here, guys. <laughs> yeah, if you just, if you like made this in real life and like just showed me a picture, I would instantly say, yeah, that's like northern Minnesota. You'd, you'd be like, yeah, this is somewhere in the Midwest or the Great Lakes states. I'm a Great Lakes nationalist. Me too. I'm a I'm a, I'm a Great Lakes uh, curious because uh, it's not conservative up here. Then come to Ohio, or like I mean Iowa. I might I I, I am cons I am considering Ohio as a state to move to. We can be roommates. It just depends where. I can move to <laughs> I I can move to like Youngstown. Youngstown? Eh, I don't know. I don't know if you really want to do that. Gonna be honest. Well, like outside well, of the, Youngstown. Even then, like there's actually there's like one good suburb in like Boardman. Everything else is like <laughs> high crime, high poverty. 
Oh, that's my favorite. I'm used to that. Actually, like the uh, the eastern side of Youngstown, like by uh, Pennsylvania, that's actually kind of nice. And then there's a big suburb called Boardman that's actually pretty nice. But other than that, it's pretty much all just like <laughs> East Cleveland, basically. All right, so then sad, I could just all go that to... used to be like ah. you know really wealthy. I could just go to Medina County then. That yeah. that'd be the place to go. Yeah, to keep it red. Or... All this cringe suburbanites are moving in. Is, okay, is is Lorraine County any good? Lorraine County, parts of it are really nice, and it's Republican trending. Lorraine is where that... There's the shipyard in Lorraine, yeah, isn't there? Yeah, the Lorraine shipler, shipyard, yeah. Shoot, I could get a job, there's like a welder. Yeah, Lorraine's actually really nice. I'm probably... I'm, I'm gonna go to It used to be trade. even nicer. Even now it's like, eh. Like, it's, I mean, it's nice, but it's not great. Oh, what what's happened to it? Is it, is it like, did it's, the recession it's a, it's a make blue, it bad? No, it's a blue-collar town. They're just all the jobs left, and then all the stores closed. It's like the same thing across the middle. Oh, so the recession High cr Yeah, oh, yeah, right. basically. High crime, um, you know. A lot of boarded-up stores, you know. There's still people that, like, live there, and there's still parts of it are really nice, but... Yeah, I like like Medina County. I'd like to live there, like live there still. But it's it's. I have a feeling it's gonna go blue like soon, or like maybe yeah, not not, not mean, soon, but like long term. There's just so many people that have I mean, been moving there, and they're all like young. Didn't so, young I mean boys. Medina? Like, didn't Medina County get redder? Uh, for Trump it did. Oh, in tr wait, 20 no, it didn't. No, it went blue from 2016 to from 2016 to 2020. From 2012 to 2016, it like shifted it, way red. But not it for... shifted red by twelve by ten points. Yeah, but Tim Ryan actually got it under. Tim Ryan got it under sixty percent for like the first time since like I think McCain. Well, to be fair, to be fair, like nobody turned out in that race. I know, JD but Vance still, still won, yeah. So. yeah, I mean, but still, it makes you wonder. And plus, I I live there. I there's so m it's it's basically completely completely different from ten years ago. They've built up. There's just these companies because it's so cheap because it's you know. A Republican area, the taxes are so low that there's just these companies that just build sub su suburb after suburb, and people flock into it. Like it's so easy, the the market's so good. There's so many people that are moving in there, and then I, I, know, I know Toledo's blue. pretty crappy. So, what Toledo? I I've I've heard Toledo's pretty crappy. Is that true? It, yeah, most of it is. I'm not gonna lie. I know the only I, not, I say Toledo. My grandpa sucks took me there to like check out the Great Lakes Shipping Museum. That place is really cool. You should go there. You should, the Great Lakes Museum. It's so. Oh cool. yeah. Yeah. I want to go there. Yeah, it's so cool. But my so my grandpa took me there like a few summers ago, and we went to the museum and it was nice. And then we went to Tony Paco's, which is like the famous hot dog restaurant. And then we went to like go explore downtown Toledo, and you literally they literally tore up all the entire sidewalk of the entire city. You couldn't like get out anywhere because they were redoing it all. Well, I mean to be fair, the infrastructure's got to get done somehow. Well, true, but like I've heard it's still like that, like three years later, because we went in twenty nineteen. Uh, the only, <laughs> like, the only reason I don't walk around like downtown Toledo. Toledo. I know. I used to know someone from Toledo online, and they were like, they were really toxic. So yeah. Some that's of the why I don't are like. Nice though. I don't. Ohio people. Like I don't. Know, people River. are like. I uh, I don't. The Maumee River. Okay. I I've heard that's all right. Yeah, like that part of the state. That's like suburbs of Toledo. It's like just west or just east, I should say. What is the what is a good part of Ohio to move to then? Because I am not going to Columbus. I would not go to Columbus. Heck no. I mean, Cleveland suburbs are honestly nice. Like Dayton, yeah, Dayton, mean, and Cincinnati. Dayton suburbs are also nice. I'd say Dayton or like Cleveland. Oh my God, Mom, stop calling me. Yeah, Dayton and Cleveland are probably the best parts of Ohio, in my opinion, to move. And then there's some small metros like Marietta is kind of nice if you want more of an Appalachian aesthetic. Uh, Sandusky's kind of nice, and you're not. Is there. Ashtabula any good? Yeah, Ashtabula's good. It's just a big suburb, but I mean, like, it's not awful. All right, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, Ashtabula is a pretty blue collar town, still, isn't it? Eh, less so, but yeah, I guess. It, it used to be. I it know used it used to be. To... Yeah, it used to be. Not really anymore. Same with like Allentown, Pennsylvania. I know Allentown used yeah, to be Allentown's a big manufacturing nothing. town. Yeah, not anymore. Allentown's turned into a a big tech hub now. Yeah. Northern Minnesota, like, Cloquet is turning into a big casino hub, because there's a native reserve. Yeah, true. So. Duluth, I don't really know. There's a ton of healthcare workers there now, so Duluth will never go red. 
There's a ton of co- there's a bit the college in Duluth has gotten so big now that there it's a it's basically an institution. Yeah. I'm trying to find a sheep so I can get one more wool. But I think they either despawned or went way far away. I can't find them. Sad. Okay, hang on a second. I, all right. I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta go do stuff. So I'll. No. <laughs> this has been fun, but I gotta, I, I gotta go eat lunch and do things now. Okay. Well, we gotta keep playing. We gotta keep building Northern Minnesota. All right. I'll get on later if we, if we, if I still can. All right. Sounds good. I'll end the stream here right. too. Then. Thank you guys for watching.